Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of perimeter. This is standard 3.7b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 30 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answer together. So we're supposed to try to find the perimeter, or we actually have the perimeter, but we don't have any pictures here. So drawing a picture is going to be very helpful. It says a triangle has a perimeter of 18 units. So we already know that the perimeter equals 18. They've already given it. And it just says 18 units, which means it doesn't really matter what the units are. Each side of this triangle is the same length. So this is going to be a special type of triangle here. And so let's see if we can draw it. I know what I'm trying to draw might not be perfect. What I'm trying to draw is a special type of triangle called an equilateral triangle. There are several different types of triangles. Three ways we can des describe triangles by their side. Three ways to describe triangles by their angles. But when we're talking about an equilateral triangle, we know it's equilateral because it has this one feature right here. Each side length is exactly the same. Now, we don't know what they are. That's what we need to find, the side length of one side. But let me put these little hash marks here. These little hash marks here, those mean that all three are the exact same size. Sometimes triangles have two sides that are the same. Sometimes none of them are the same. This first part right here almost spells the word equal. All we need to do is change that I to an A. So it's easy to remember what an equilateral triangle is. So we need to find the side length of one of these sides here. And so what is perimeter? Well, perimeter is 18, but perimeter, or triangle, is side plus the side plus the side. So we've got three sides and they're all the same. So what we need to do is we need to see if we can just isolate one of these sides. Well, let's see if we can replace this with 18. And we've got each of these sides, but guess what? They're all the exact same. So what if we took our 18 and we broke it up into three equal parts? Because this really seems like since they're all exactly the same, this might be a good division problem. So if I were to take my 18 and I were to divide it into three equal parts, let's see if that would give us an answer that would work. 18 divided by 3, well, that's a fact. Uh, that's going to be 6. So what would happen if I were to do 6 and 6 and then 6 for the sides? Would 6 plus 6 plus 6 make 18? Uh, six and twelve. Six and six is twelve. Plus six is eighteen. So it actually looks like this would work. We've got six. We've got six, and we've got six. And three sixes make eighteen. So you can do three sixes make eighteen. So that seems like it works. So it looks like we have our answer here. Let's see if we can figure out where they got some of these other wrong answers from them. Where do you think we got? three units from? Well, probably this three simply came from three sides of a triangle. And so remember, we didn't have any picture to begin with. And so when we're looking at a triangle, we know a triangle is three sides. So if you chose three sides, uh, that's probably, this is a good start, but that tells you the number of sides of the triangle, not how long each triangle is. This 19, this is just strange because all this is is 18 plus 1. So this is really just a guess. You've got no idea what it is, and you're just guessing. This 54 is interesting because instead of 18 divided by 3, guess what happens if you do 18 times 3? Well, you're going to get 24 there. 3 times 1 is 3. That's going to get your 54. But what they're wanting here is 18 you said three sides of 18. That's not going to work because then that makes a perimeter of 54 and you want the perimeter to be 18. So our answer is G.